रोटी कपड़ा और मकान फूड क्लोदिंग एंड शेल्टर आर द बेसिक नेसेसिटीज ऑफ ह्यूमन लाइफ इन इंडिया इट्स रिलेटिवली ईजी टू इंश्योर फूड एंड क्लोदिंग बट हाउसिंग हाउसिंग नीड्स प्लानिंग एक्सपेंसिव रेंटल हाउसिंग हैज़ अ डिसप्रपोर्शनेट इम्पैक्ट ऑन द हाउस होल्ड एक्सपेंसिस सो इन टूडेज वीडियो लेट्स फाइंड आउट वॉट इज द रेंट दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली अफोर्ड विथ योर इनकम एंड वी डू सच फाइनेंशियल एजुकेशन वीडियोज एवरी वीक सो डू सब्सक्राइब इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ग्रो योर वेल्थ हमारे मंथली एक्सपेंस में रेंट मोस्टली सबसे बड़ा एक्सपेंस होता है एंड दैट ब्रिंग्स अस टू द क्वेश्चन ऑफ हाउ मच शुड यू आइडियली स्पेंड ऑन योर हाउसिंग जनरली स्पीकिंग यू नो योर रेंट विल डिपेंड ऑन मेनी फैक्टर्स लाइक द लोकेशन ऑफ योर हाउस योर फैमिली साइज द अम्यूनिटीज इन योर सोसाइटी एंड अदर्स एंड लाइक अदर क्वेश्चन इन पर्सनल फाइनेंस वी हैव अ थम रूल फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेल सो लेट सी विथ एन एक्सेल ओके Let's add the income for which we want to check the rent. Let's say we start with forty thousand per month, sixty thousand, eighty thousand, one lakh, and one lakh fifty thousand. Do remember that this is net income after tax, your in hand salary. And now we are back to the old framework of needs, wants, and investments. Fifty percent for needs, thirty percent for wants, and the balance twenty percent for investments. So, what is your overall breakup now? The fifty percent of forty thousand income will go towards needs. The thirty percent of forty thousand will go towards wants, and the balance will be for investments. And we know rent is the part of needs bucket. So, how much of this needs bucket can go towards rent? Let's create a range: the lower amount and the upper amount. On a forty thousand income, let's say ten thousand. could be the lower range and 12000 could be the amount on the upper side of it okay now let's see this as a percentage of the needs bucket we'll once again create the range and we will divide this 10000 rental by the needs amount which is 20000 and as a percentage this is 50% on the lower side similarly on the upper side let's see how much it is this comes out to 60% of the needs bucket on the upper side of the range you will notice that the actual amount is not very high 10000 12000 rupees but as a percentage it seems high 50% 60% now let's see what is this rent amount as a percentage of your total salary dividing the rent by total salary we get 10000 divided by 40000 of your income is 25% on the lower side and on the higher side this is 30% okay so right now the rent is 25 to 30% of your salary and this is your answer in ideal case rent should not be more than the 30% of your salary the ideal ratio is 20% to 30% and do remember that this is including maintenance charges let's extend the same logic to other columns with higher salaries and let's add 4 lakh as well here so that you can see the difference now as our previous number on 40000 income the rent was 50% on the lower side so let's use the same number right now and we'll take 50% of the needs bucket and similarly 60% of the needs bucket for the upper range and because we have already calculated this at 50 and 60% this will obviously be 50% of the needs bucket and 60% of the needs bucket extending the same logic to find the rent for other columns as well here now because we have used the same ratio of 50 to 60% the ratio at the overall salary level will also be same extending the same logic here as well we see that at an overall level as well the rent is 25 to 30% of the net salary now as your income grows your responsibilities will also grow as you age your family size may increase so it makes sense to increase your rent up to a certain point for example this 25000 rent on a 1 lakh salary but after a point you will notice that the rent amount starts seeming illogical 1 lakh 20000 rent that seems too much for a city like delhi ncr or bangalore right for our calculation let's say the upper limit of the previous calculation becomes our lower limit now so 30000 is the lower limit now and how much do you think should be the upper limit let's say in 37000 So what is the percentage? Thirty divided by the seventy-five of the needs bucket is forty percent, 
and 37 divided by the needs bucket is 49%, which is lower than our previous bucket. And at the overall salary level as well, we see that the range has decreased. Now we are in the range of 20 to 25% of the salary. Great, you have controlled your rent. But what is the benefit? Fixed expense come karne se fayda kya hota hai? Let me break this down for you. This is interesting, but you need to pay attention here. Let me write this down for you. What is inside my needs bucket? We have rent plus other needs will total up to my needs bucket. With me till here? So at 1 lakh salary, what is my breakup of rent plus other needs? Let's take the higher limit. My rent was 30,000 rupees. What are my other needs? My other needs is the difference between this 50,000 rupees minus my rent, which is 20,000 rupees. Now, as we go to the next income bracket and do not increase the rent by the same percentage, we will make some savings, correct? So what is the total of the needs bucket on the 1,50,000 income? My other needs will remain same and my rent is now 37,000 rupees. Great. So the total of needs becomes my total of rent plus total of other needs, which is 57,000 rupees. Right. But originally we had calculated that our needs will be 75,000 rupees. So this shows that we are making some savings here, right? Our wants will remain the same. And this gives us an opportunity to increase the investment amount. We will take the total income and reduce the other expenses and the balance can go towards investment. You see, we can increase the investment by 18,000 rupees per month. This 18,000 per month is not a small number. But if you're not convinced, let me show you something. You know where I'm going with this, right? 10% pay invest, kar doge, itna ho jayega. but kitna ho jayega? let me show you. Let's say we start with 18,000 rupees per month. No additions, the 10% income on this amount, which gives us the closing balance at the end of the year as a sum of the opening plus addition plus interest. The closing balance for last year is the opening balance of my next year. We once again add 18,000 rupees every month, which gives us the 10% on these two amounts, the opening balance plus the additions during the year. Now the closing balance is the same as a total of all three numbers. Let's extend this for the next 30 years. In 30 years, you will end up with almost 3 crore 90 lakh rupees almost 4 crore rupees. Now I know that you know that if you invest every year in 2 lakh rupees, then almost 3 crore will be done. But after 30 years, what is my short term what is my short term benefit? See, the lower your fixed cost, the easier it is to manage it. So for example, if you are making 3 months emergency fund, then because of the lower rent, you will have to make a small emergency fund. Right? You can use this 18,000 towards your travel budget or for a gift for your parents or save as a down payment for your house or any other thing that you can think of. On the long term side, you can use this amount to gain financial freedom earlier. So what is the takeaway? Simple. Initially, keep your rent between 20 to 30 percent of your net salary. And as your income increases, this ratio should come down. If you have any suggestions related to this video or the channel, you can tell me in the comment section. If you like this video, do hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then click subscribe and press the bell icon. Wrapping it up, this is Paritosh, signing off.